Go, hurry. I'm gonna put you in my bloopers. We gotta switch it on top. Oh my gosh. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing my BoxyCharm unboxing slash try on. And I'm going to use all the products that I got in my box to give you my thoughts on them, let you know if it's worth it, to see if you would like to get Boxy charm for yourself. I'm gonna start off with the theme. The theme is vacation, and basically, we Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription box that you get every month, and you pay $21 a month, and you get at least five full size products. There are a couple times we've got more than five. We've got like six items, and they're always full size products. You always at least get one product that is a high end product that is a well known product always 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 so the box is always worth way more than what you pay for it and it's a great way to build up your makeup collection and it's a great way to try new makeup and if you just love makeup like i do you will love boxycharm so i will leave a link down below on how to sign up for boxycharm and yeah so if you'd like to see how i got this look using my boxycharm this month what i think of it then please keep watching please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every single time i upload because you need to and yeah so let's get to the video okay so the first product i got in this box is this south main three eye gel pack it says it reduces puffiness reduces dark circles moisturizes your eye area so they are under eye gels it says to thoroughly cleanse your eye area apply this product under your eye leave on for 30 minutes to reduce puffiness and dark circles use promptly after opening for best results use for three consecutive days so basically to save time i'm going to put these on while i do my eyes so this is going to be the first thing i do i do have a clean face i just did my eyebrows and i put primer on my eyelids and that's about it so these retail for ten dollars and it's supposed to be just an easy eye mask without any cleanup to soften moisturize and to ensure that you look well rested and refreshed so let's try these last time i had like gel packs i got gel everywhere so hopefully these are totally just like those those one lip mask packs i got <gasps> it just spilled that stuff all over me so hopefully they stay on they're very cooling so hopefully these don't slide off everywhere and they stay on so I can be able to do eyeshadow. So next is going to be this product. This is the Vintage Cosmetic Company Smoky Eye Brush Set. So basically you get three brushes. The little plastic things are in there but they didn't come out with the brushes. So we get these three brushes right here. These retail for $23.15. Um, this is a brush set trio to create stunning smoking eyes. Use your shadow brush to sweep light shimmery color over your lids. Pack a darker color on the angle shadow brush and work into the crease with your eyelid and outer corners with the smudger brush. Can be used to blend the two shades together or alternately use an even darker color to accentuate the crease and define your lash line. So I'm going to try to use all of these brushes. So yeah, I'm gonna, looks like, oh, they have steps on them. So besides like names, it says step one for the money, step two for the shadow, step three, go girl, go. So what we're gonna use as an eyeshadow palette is the next product, which is this BoxyCharm, I don't know if you see it, times pure palette so we haven't had a pure palette before now i have used this my thoughts on it um, are kind of this pretty much the same thoughts that i had with the original pure palette because with the original pure palette we got in boxycharm before it's like the colors went on nicely but like the shimmer shades kind of blended away to nothing and they fell off very easily and that's exactly what i think of this palette i haven't used all the shimmer shades but for the most part that's how it was they it's like the glitter shimmer in them basically just flick away 
So this palette is retails for $36 and it looks like it has a lot of bright, pretty colors. So I'm, I've used like all these pink shades and I don't know how I feel about it, but I kind of want to use like this red shade and maybe the blue shade. So let's start. This shade right here, which is just like a matte all over the lid color. It's called Perfect. And then just kind of setting the concealer that I did put down on my lid. I think I'm actually going to use like this gold shade right here and this blue shade. I'm going to go on with the shade Nike. And I'm basically just going to put that all over my crease. I feel like my light is like way too bright today. You see these? They're like sliding down. I think you need to basically be laying down to use them. I'm just trying to save time and use them while I do my eyes, which is the best thing because it takes forever for me to do my eyes and I always do them first. I learned that when I film my videos, I'm absolutely so horrible at like starting a sentence of saying something and stopping and then <laughs> going on. I last video I edited was so bad I was just like ridiculous I hated it and my husband tells me I talk like that all the time and I'm like mad at myself that I do that because it's very annoying I feel his pain now okay now I'm gonna go in with Bill which is this next it's like these three shades are very similar but this one's like a little bit more pinker and this one's peach so I'm gonna go in with this shade Okay, now I'm going to use the brush, the, one of the brushes that came with Boxy Charm, and it's the angled shader brush, and I'm going to use this shader right here, which is called BFF. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. These brushes are very soft. I kind of like them. They seem pretty sturdy. Like, this is my Sigma brush, which I really like my Sigma brush. And it's a really good brush. But this one seems a little more sturdier than this one. Strange, strange. Okay. I'm going to get, like, a blending brush. And I'm going to try to just blend this more. I felt like that angle brush just focused more on one color. Okay, now I'm going to take step three, which is more of like a dense shader brush, and I'm going to go in with this color right here, which is Alliance. So I'm going to go in with that color all over the lid. And I am going to spray my brush because I always spray my brush for every shimmer shade. I like this one way better than like the one I used yesterday. I used one yesterday and it was the pink one. And then I used like the lighter peachy shade Charmer next to it. This shade is called Alliance, yeah. I used the peachy shade next to it yesterday and it wasn't very pigmented. It fell apart. I didn't like it. So let's see right now when I like blend the glitter shade with the matte shade how it performs. I just want to know if it's going to flake off everywhere like the shimmer shade I used yesterday did. Because in that other box of charm, pure palette that we got a few months back, if you remember me talking about how it like just flaked off everywhere, which was something I wasn't too into. Literally, I don't even know when my camera stopped recording, but it stopped recording. And I went in the outer corner with Duet. I am noticing Alliance is kind of like disappearing off of my eye, which is the problem that I had with the first Pure Palette, which I'm not a fan of. If it does that, it will just make me not want to use the palette because I like to put shimmer shades all over my lid. And if they're just going to flake off and nothing's going to be there, then I'm not going to be happy with it. So 
basically I am going to put eyeliner on and do the rest of my face and I will be back with some more details on the next products we're going to use because we totally just used three products right now so I'll be back okay so I really hope this stays recording okay so basically the next product I have is going to be this this is the Pretty Vulgar Make Them Blush Blush in Prim, Prim Vixen. Prim? Prim? One of those. Um, this retails for $26. This is a super bright pink color. I did see other colors that they had with like a peachy color, but this is like, I don't know how I'm going to look. Like a Barbie doll? Probably, but it is what it is, so let's do that. My thing with blush is my blush has to last a long time for me to like it. I feel like any blush can do what a blush does. But if it doesn't last, then it's not worth anything. So now that we got that done, I'm going to do my lower lash line with the palette. And I'm going to go in with one crease shade under the lid. Which is going to be like this pe these two peachy colors. I'm going to go to the Nakey and Bell. And I'm going to put it on my lower lash line. And, and then I'm going to add that bright blue on my lower lash line for a pop of color because I really want to use that blue. Okay, so now I'm going to take a more dense brush. I think I'm gonna use this brush, the same brush I used for the crease shade. Not the crease shade, all over lid shade. This blue, right here. It's called Mia, or M-I-A. Mia, M-I-A, I'm pretty sure it's M-I-A because BoxyCharm is like located in Miami or in Florida, so it's probably. I'm going to kind of put just a tiny bit of a dark color, the brown color again, on this edge right here. Just to kind of, I don't know what it's doing. That's just what I want to do. <laughs> There's one more product, and I'm going to finish the rest of what I have to do, and I'll be back with the next product. Okay. So the next product is mascara. This is the Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. It retails for $20. It says get 200% thicker lashes in just one coat and 314% increase in lash curl. The interlocking nylon fiber brush grasps each individual lash to lengthen, curl, and multiply lashes from root to tip. So, I'm pretty curious to see if this actually does that. Wow, this is like a giant mascara. Like, okay, this is my normal mascara. This is the mascara next. It's like giant. First, I'm going to put primer on my eyelids because I always put primer on my eyelids. But the eyelash is kind of like the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. It reminds me of that wand all right so let's see how this mascara goes it seems kind of wet hmm. i kind of like it sorry if i'm like super close let me get a mirror <laughs> Well, I actually like this mascara. I remember one mascara I got from BoxyCharm. I think it was the limited edition box. The pure mascara is horrible. But I did get the tar tardiest mascara, and it's like my go-to mascara. It's what I've been using like every day. I like it. But I do like I like mascaras like this that like separate 
or just, I don't know what it's called. I guess more the tardiest one separates the lashes. These ones kind of like comb them together but fluff them out, which I like. So I always like using like two different kinds of mascaras to get the look I want. So I totally like this mascara. I wasn't going to use it because I have so many mascaras and I was like, oh, I'll just save this for when I really need it. But no, I really like this mascara. So this mascara is definitely a win because I really, really like it. I think I am going to now... Oh, I didn't give you my thoughts on the under eye things. So I feel like it... I don't know, my under eyes are pretty soft. But I feel like it didn't really do anything that my moisturizer wouldn't do. But you have to use it three days in a row. So I'm going to try using that three days in a row. And I will update you in the description bar on how it worked. But other than that, it was just meh. Meh. All right, everyone. So that was my boxy charm for this month, and so far I kind of like it. So I'm gonna recap on everything. Those gel packs, they were okay. I mean, there wasn't anything spectacular I noticed about my under eyes. Like they don't feel any softer than they would with just a moisturizer underneath my eyes. Um, so they're okay. They're kind of a mess because if you could see my table below, it's just, it's a mess. Um, these brushes, I like them. I think they're really nice quality. They're very soft and they're very good quality, but it's just, I don't like the type of brushes that they gave me. Like I want like a standard, the brushes that I'm going to use every day. So this will just go on to my collection. I'll probably use them here and there, but I just don't like the type of brushes that they sent. Um, next, the palette. I really, really love how this look came out. The look I tried yesterday, I wasn't a big fan of, but this look, I like, I like it. I like the blue. I love the peaches with the gold. Like, this look gave me summery vibes, and I really, really liked it. Um, the blush, it's way too pink, but it, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. I'm gonna have to take a couple pictures of myself, go look at myself in the in like the mirror in a different room and see how like bright my face looks with this much blush because it could be just like too much for me. But it's a nice texture. I'll see how long it lasts. I will update you in the description box. But yeah, the blush was okay. I really love the packaging. It's super cute. Like it looks like it's expensive heavy packaging, but it's like cheap packaging. But I think it's like cute that they put the effort to make their packaging really cute. So this will be a nice thing to just like display on your vanity. Um, next was what? Oh, the mascara. I love this mascara. This just became like my new favorite mascara. Like I really, really, really love it. I think it worked really well. I'm excited to use it without lashes, but I did put lashes on. But like I'm excited what it did for my lower lash lines. It wasn't crazy messy. Like it, it worked out good. That's like the kind of mascara I go for. So I did like that. Other than that, those were the items that I got in my BoxyCharm. This is the look I created with it. I hope it inspired you to want to get BoxyCharm or if you got these items that you can make a look like this because I'm really digging it. I really like it. So, yeah, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Tune in for my next video and I will see you next time.